So why this m plus 1 peak is important because when we don't know the number of carbon atoms in the sample in, in the molecule uh, so because it's an unknown molecule and why are we doing mass spectrometry because we want to know which molecule it is so we want to know the number of carbon atoms because after that things become a little easier if we know how many carbon atoms are present in the molecule so what we do is that we use these two peaks the relative the, the ratios of their abundances to calculate the number of carbon atoms and I'll be showing you that calculation because that does come often in the paper so I can label this as the M peak uh, this has the M plus 1 peak and now uh, you know that this will be the M peak will be a lot more abundant than the M plus 1 peak uh, you will only calculate the molecular mass using the M peak because the M peak, uh, as I said, the M plus 1 is just because of carbon 13. The actual molecular mass will always be due to the M peak. So the MZ value of the M peak is what will be the molecular mass, relative molecular mass. So uh, yeah, let's move forward now. Uh, okay, sorry. So yeah, this is the M, the, uh, we use the M and M plus 1 peaks. So as I said, 1.1% of the carbon atoms in a sample of a compound are carbon-13 atoms. And uh, if there are n number of carbon atoms in the molecule, I can say that 1.1% of n are carbon-13 atoms. So if there are n number of carbon atoms in the molecule, I can say 1.1% of n are carbon-13 atoms. The probability that uh, there are carbon-13 atoms is 1.1% of N. So, what I do is, I can write this as 1.1 over 100 times N times N and uh, this is basically equal to the ratio of the M plus 1 peaks, the relative abundance of the M plus 1 peaks and the N M plus 1 peak and the M peak. M peak. So uh, as you can see because 1.1 1 .1 uh, is basically representing the M plus 1 and 100 is representing the M. So 1.1% 1 .1 of N, 1.1 uh, over 100 of N will be this ratio. So 1.1 uh, 1 .1 over 100 of N will be this ratio. So uh, actually it's really difficult to get this value from the graph in the paper. So they will give you these values. They will give you the ratio of the relative abundances. So for example, let me say that the ratio of M plus 1 to M is, uh, I forgot the square brackets, very important square brackets. The ratio of m plus 1 to m it's given to me as 0 0.66 is to 14.5 so you can see how the difference the difference is so large between the ratios of the between the m plus 1 and m heights this is the ratio of the heights because it's the relative abundance the ratio of the relative abundances so I've, I've been given this value, so if I have to calculate the number of carbon atoms in this example, uh, I'm just separating this out. So I can f I first make N as the subject. So N is the subject of my equation uh, and this becomes 100 over 1.1 times M plus 1. over M. So this is our, this is, so this is, we have rearranged the equation and we have made N the subject. This equation, I have rearranged this to make N the subject. So uh, now I can put in these values, so I can say this is equal to 100 over 1.1 into 0 0.66 over 14.5 uh, that's a very dis uh, deformed 4 so let me make a less deformed 4 so 
five. So this is my error. 